So I've been up um, all night finishing Aurora by Kim Stanley Robinson, and I'm not certain that this is going to make any kind of sense, but, you know, let's just get into it. Aurora is a science fiction novel published in July of 2015. Uh, it is written by Kim Stanley Robinson, who's just a fucking master of the genre, and um, ostensibly, like, it's, it's chiefly about an outbound multi-generational flight to Tau Ceti, which is about uh, 12 light years from Earth. And the goal of the flight is to take the kind of third, fourth generation of this flight to Tau Ceti, where they can colonize on uh, one of the planet's moons, which is named Aurora. What's so fascinating about the story, though, is that it really explores narrative and what stories are and why we tell stories and how we tell stories. The bulk of the novel, probably 95% of it, is relayed as a narrative in the past tense uh, by the ship itself, the ship's computer. And so you get simultaneously, like, the most and least reliable narrator that I've ever experienced. It's really reliable in the sense that all of the things are factually accurate, you know, because it is has literally recorded these events. So you know that the tone of voice that is portrayed in the narrative and, and the, the literal words that people have said, the literal things that people have done, the amount of time that it has taken them to do those things, all of that is just completely factually accurate. So it is a supremely reliable narrator in that sense. However, this is a computer. This is not a person who is able to uh, prioritize things. So there are times during the beginning of the ship's narrative that you question if the thing that's being relayed is important and why it's important. And, you know, so that that's horribly unreliable because maybe there's something that's more important that's happened around the same time because the ship is learning to write narrative as the narrative is being written. But the exploration of like what it means to be a narrator and and why we pay attention to narratives is is all there. Um, in some ways it reminds me of like Asimov's Foundation where the characters, like the, the arc is not like human characters and their movement through their lives, but the arc of a settlement, the arc of a uh, society, like the, the character arcs that you would generally get in a novel are expressed by this society. In, this, in a similar way, in Aurora, the character arcs are <laughs> described by this ship, the ship's computer, and so eventually, just subtly, without my realizing it, the ship and its narrative becomes really gripping and really just profound. There are all of these aphoristic moments that are just beautiful and heartbreaking. And I think that it's because the the ship as a narrator is fearless. Uh, there's, you know, long sections where the, the ship is describing the falseness of metaphor, the falseness of simile, and comes to the resolution that essentially all human language is so flawed that the only accurate thing that can be said is as if. Uh, everything is as if something else. Uh, and it, it's powerful, and it hits you, but then the story is not even close to over. The, the development of the ship as a narrator and as a character is not nearly over at that point. But this bravery, this fearlessness in expressing things accurately and succinctly just continues right through toward the end of the the ship's narrative. The the novel doesn't end with the ship's narrative. It goes back into a a present tense sort of coda, uh, which doesn't involve the ship whatsoever. But there are these amazing gripping moments of humanity in the things that this ship says and chooses to say. Uh, the exploration of what it is to be human, what it is to be self-aware, uh, what it is to have emotion, and like what love is, and how 
how that is articulated in our lives. It just... God, I can't say enough good things about it. Honestly, I've never read another novel that made me sit the book down and just go, oh fuck, like, oh fuck, is that a thing that I just read? I can't handle that thing that I just read, and I just had to stop. It took me way longer to read this book than uh, maybe any other novel that I've ever read. The masterful thing that is done in the novel is that there's this amazing consonance of the way the story is told and what the story means. It's a, a beautiful expression of something that I think is going to be more and more explored in the 21st century, which is, you know, the form and function of writing coming together. Like, the way the stories we tell are told matters as much as the stories themselves. And that's something that some of us are realizing. I think it's something that all of us are eventually going to realize. And, uh, that Kim Stanley Robinson has just hit the nail on the fucking head with this book. So go read Aurora. Um, love the hell out of it. Don't feel ashamed if you have to sit the book down and just be blown away by the thing that you just read. Uh, and, uh, I, I, yeah, do that and I will see you later.